is make sure, really make sure that uh, all of your floors are covered. Let me show you. I've got the whole floor covered with this plastic. You see the blue plastic. I even covered the television set over there with it. So just to make sure that the TV's covered and everything else. You know, my, my wife's my wife's been working on this mess for 30, over 30 years. She doesn't need to work on this mess too when I'm all done. So she's got enough of a mess here. I've got my pan. I've got my knife. I've got my Durabon. My Durabon here. So we're all set up right now. And like I was saying, the first thing I really want to do is mix up Durabon. So I'm going to do that real quick. And before you look at guys, I, I went and grabbed my my 12 inch pan compared to my 14 because as a novice you're not going to really have one of these you're just going to have this one here so this is a this is a standard 12 inch pan so i'm going to grab a little bit of durabond here mix up a little bit i'm just just pre-filling this right now So now I gotta move my horse over a little bit. Because I can't reach that. I'm a little guy. Alright. Okay, and like what I like to do honestly is just just reach off. And understand this. When I do this. When I do uh, when I do uh, stuff like this, no, there's no reason. The only reason this is peeling, honestly, it, it, this was primer, and I know this was a primer paint, but I had these skylights leaking on me, um, and they they leaked for quite a while. I can actually see it right here where they leaked here. So, wow. There must have been a lot of moisture in there to have that happen. Okay. I hate that when that happens. Now, I am not worried at all at the fact that this is this is rounded or in here. Actually, this is really, really rough. Just understand, I did this many many years ago and this house is built in 1887 so this is a very very old house so what i'm tying in here and working with here is 130 what 132 years old now so all i'm going to do for, as a novice all i want to do is fill in that oops i forgot i was going to switch hands well oh, this is not going to be fun this is not going to be fun at all all I want to do, <laughs> is, <laughs> all I want to do is switch hands. That's all I want to do right now. <laughs> so, so I got to try to fill this in left-handed. <laughs> this is not easy. This is not easy at all. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a fun video series, isn't it? So I have to, uh, I have a big gap here too. I told you before, I am not ambidextrous. Not in the slightest. I have no idea what I'm doing here when it comes to holding a knife with my left hand. Boy, am I glad I've got all my phalanges on my right hand because if I had to switch, I think I'd have to change trades. I'd have to do something else. I'd have to paint. <laughs> I'm teasing you guys. I love the painters, especially the ones who really hide my work. All right. Man, that's not easy at all. That's like I have to do it left-handed or something. All right. 
Okay. Walk away. Walk away. Pre-fill it like that. Get it nice and full and walk away. I mean, if you wanted to, to fill in this little bit right here, you could go ahead and do that too. But, but you don't really have to. All you're trying to do is fill in that gap. You're not trying to do anything else except fill in that gap. But if you wanted to catch that edge of paint right there, you can do that. If you wanted to coat this little bit of yellow mud here that's been there for 30 years, you can do that too. It doesn't matter. But you're just trying to uh, pre-fill it. So now that I have that messed up, uh, let me switch to the other one. All right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Here I go. So let me grab some tape here real quick. And like I said, this one, I'm going to use my right hand holding the knife and my left hand holding the pen. And that way, I can make a bigger mess. I want to get this filled. But I'm not just going to get this filled. Watch. I'm going to fill that in. And now, I'm going to mud it up. And I'm going to tape it. I'm going to have to end up painting this wall too, so it doesn't really matter if I get something on the wall because it's going to get painted too. It has to. It has to. Just because that angle, that angle over there. So, again, let's make sure I get some mud in here. You know, this house, like I said, it was built in 1887. It's 132 years old. And there's an old saying, they don't make houses like they used to. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God they don't make houses like they used to. Uh, it's, uh, it's crazy, the technology on home building with, with uh, LVLs and, and all of that other good stuff. You know, other than, uh, you know, this house is built balloon construction. It was balloon construction with rough 2x4s, and I mean rough. Sometimes, some of the 2x4s, I got a bunch of them in my garage. Uh, when I took out that wall, this one wall, I saved the 2x4s. But uh, some of them aren't, they're, you know, they're supposed to be 2 inches by 4 inches. I had some, some of these 2 by 4s they were like 6 inches at the bottom to 4 inches at the top. It was crazy, absolutely crazy. Now, this needs a deep fill, deep fill. Okay. There. And you know, I'm going to take this just like it is. Again, like I said, it's, it'll be just fine. I am going to show you at the very end of this how to take a really crooked, nasty corner. Just like I have right here. This thing snakes and it's round and it's really, really nasty. I'm going to show you how you can take this and make it perfectly straight. I mean perfectly straight. So with that being said, I have got this thing taped. I'm going to get rid of the rest of my Durban just right here. Just kind of float this out a little bit. No big deal. This is 20 like I said. So in less than 20 minutes now, I will be able to uh, put another coat on this. And I am not going to do this all in Durban, guys. You guys can do it. You guys can do it in Durban. So the guys who really can patch this stuff up and do it in Durban, 
three coats and, and be done with it today, you're not going to be watching my video. But the guys who are learning how to do it, who are trying to uh, just see, just see, you know, how somebody who's been doing it for a little while does it, you're the guys who are going to be watching this video, or people who just want to watch it. You see me back there? I see you. So I'm just going to float this in just a little bit, just to get rid of what I have in my pan. And then I'm going to go back over here. Huh, look at that. Something's peeling over there. I don't know what that is. And I'm going to go back over there and see what's going on over there. Huh. Okay. That wasn't, uh, honestly, that was not paint. I kind of thought that was paint coming down, but it was not. Oops. I'm doing this one with my left hand. I, I keep forgetting that. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. See you later. Hey, thumbs up. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.